The image you're looking at was created by an AI and won a digital art competition in the US, sparking controversy and fury among artists. The artist went on to sell his winning art piece for over $700. In the first instance where he won the competition, it's unclear whether he broke the rules of the competition or not. But during his submission, he was asked by the judges what his process of creating the art looked like and he said he used a computer and made journey. Then his submission was accepted in the contest. It's not clear if the judges understood what he meant by Mid Journey as AI generated artwork was pretty recent and it's understandable for the judges to not have heard of Mid Journey during that time. After the news spread and uh, uproar on social media, the Colorado State Fair, who were the organizers of the competition, sent out this tweet. The digital art category of the fine arts competition has people talking. At the Colorado State Fair, we think this brings up a great conversation. With advancing technology, the discussion of AI and art helps the fair evolve from year to year. These are two real-life instances so far where art that would normally be created by humans was done by an AI and commanded the same results. It won a competition and sold as art for a good price. To be clear, the artist did not just open up Mid Journey and on their first try generate the winning piece. He claims to have spent over a hundred hours tweaking his prompts and until he generated the art piece. But with AI getting better and better, how long before you can generate a masterpiece in just one or three prompts? This has led me to the question, what jobs will AI replace in the 3D industry? To answer this question, we need to look at the production pipeline of a visual effects heavy film like Avengers Infinity War or Spider-Man. How AI is going to affect story writers or script writers jobs. Any movie starts with a story that turns into a script. This is one of the safest jobs in the industry, safe at least from AI generators for now. This however does not mean that there is no AI generators trying to write scripts for movies right now. Today there are at least 10 commercial AI script writers used to write ad copy, short, short stories and movies. What I think is going to take some time is AAA studios like Marvel Studios trusting an AI to write a compelling story that can be turned into a feature length movie or animation. Concept art seems to be the easiest entry point for AI generators. Almost all AI image generators released this year can be used for some form of concept art. And one of their best selling points is how quickly they can turn around different concept arts and styles. Generative AI has been compared to synthesizers that people thought would replace musicians and guitar players. With synthesizers, people thought you would no longer need a piano player, just add the notes into the computer and it will play for you. Synthesizers did not end up replacing guitar players or piano players, they likely made them more valuable. People want to see other people perform and appreciate talent. That's why you go to concerts and endure long lines pay expensive tickets and spend hours standing only to listen to a song you, you can easily listen in the comfort of your home on your laptop or phone. But generative AI is different from synthesizers. There are not many people who will sit to watch an artist create concept art on their computer for hours. Most ordinary people just care about the final piece rather than the process of creating the art piece. 90% of people cannot tell the difference between AI generated work and artist created work. A few weeks ago, each image you generated was slightly different with a slightly different visual style. There wasn't any consistency. And now these generators are getting more consistent and can redraw the same character in different poses, something they struggled with a few weeks ago. Where AI may struggle in concept art is, I believe, in telling a comprehensive story with consistency and continuity. Yes, the AI can generate consistent visual style, but it struggles in continuity. If say one image had an explosion and you had rocks everywhere, would the AI be able to place those the same rocks in the next image or frame it generates or would it need an artist to do the cleanup? How AI will affect character design jobs? This can fall under concept art. The same generative AIs can be used today to generate character design. How AI will affect modeling and sculpting jobs? As of writing this, there are at least three AI generators capable of generating 3D models from text prompts. The process of generating 3D models has always been of sweat and hard work. This guaranteed jobs for artists as this field always required human labor. We did see a movement towards procedure generators, though it was reserved to already time consuming tasks that were repetitive that don't require a lot of artistic direction in the, in the early stages of design, like tree generation using speed tree, city generators using geometry nodes, environment generators like true terrain and more. Now we are seeing AI generators capable of producing models that were too complicated 
for procedure workflows. AI generators like NVIDIA's Get 3 d and Stable Fusion can produce cars, bikes, and malls all from text. The resolution and visual fidelity of these models is still low and unusable in most cases, but this is just the first iteration. A few papers down the road and maybe there will be no need for places like CG Trader or Turbo Squid, which are dedicated places to sell 3D models. I hope that day never comes because most 3D artists make their money from selling asset packs and 3D models which these AIs would do away with. How AI will affect rigging jobs? Rigging being one of the most complex part of any 3D pipeline, I think this is going to remain a job for humans for now. Characters, especially animals, are too unique and different to be easily rigged by an AI. Rigging, I believe, is the last job that an AI is going to replace. Yes, the AI may be able to generate a standard rig that can be used for human characters, but to create a rig for every possible animation character is just too difficult. There are so many unique poses for different character designs that an AI may not be capable of generating. How AI will affect animation jobs? As a result of rigs being too hard for AI to generate, especially for non-organic objects, I know I said animals are harder, but now that I think of it, Non-organic objects that need to be animated require more specialized rigs than animals. A rig for a giraffe needs slight tweaking to work on a dog, but, but a rig for Optimus Prime is simply unusable for the Pixar lamb character. And for that specific reason, because each character has a special rig, that means the AI would have to be tweaked to handle that specific rig for animation, which might take more time than just hiring a rigger and animator to do it for you. My conclusion, generative AIs are still new and for now, most studios are going to maintain their workflow and pipeline for the same reason why they refuse to adapt new software like Blender. They take longer to adapt new workflows because their old workflows are reliable and it's what everyone uses and used to. So for now, I think we are safe.